Okay, so I'm working on uh, some winter canvas projects and I decided to make a sail pack. I'm generally not a fan of sail packs on a boat this size. Uh, I, I mean, they are convenient, but um, really I'm just so used to handling the mainsail by myself that uh, I, I just have never thought they were necessary. However, uh, I had a few situations where my wife was taking down the main and um, the reefing lines were all whipping about and causing an unpleasant situation for everyone. Uh, so I did make this um, traditional sail cover a couple years ago. And as you can see, it's, it's quite a tight fit. So the idea here is that since this is relatively new, uh, to see if I can convert this to a sail pack and um, do so at a minimal expense to, to see even just to see if it's possible at least. So I did mention that I was not a fan of sail packs um, and there's really a couple of reasons. Um, number one, cosmetics, uh, the, the aesthetic look of a sail pack, uh, just I just don't care for it. Uh, I prefer a traditional mainsail cover. Call me a curmudgeon, call me old school, call me what you will. Um, that's just my preference. Uh, number two is uh, windage. Uh, typically they're they're wedge shaped, so they, they do have quite a bit more windage than a regular sail cover. Uh, three, um, when the sail is up, uh, they tend to flap around a lot. And uh, lastly, uh, they can affect the sail shape. Um, uh, making it a little bit less efficient, uh, in particular for a loose-footed sail. So I'm going to try to address those four things uh, with this conversion. And here is the suspect in question. So this is the mainsail cover that I made a couple years ago. Um, I do have a, a bit of uh, sunbrella left over from when I did make it. So tentatively, what I'm planning to do is put in a batten pocket on the inside here on both sides. Um, take the seam off here, replace these uh, twist locks with grommets and then some webbing with a, uh, with a slug that'll fit in the boom. And then uh, see how much material, if any, I'll need to add uh, before I put a zipper in here um, and figure out a way to have the lazy jacks connect to the batten. Um, that's a tentative plan, so I'm uh, making this up as I go along. I did study a few different designs, um, see what I could uh, uh, learn from them, uh, but I think this is going to kind of be something unique. And the first thing here was to separate the seam on the spine of the original mainsail cover. I've also removed the collar from the aft part and the collar from the top where the throat is and I cut up a couple of or a bunch of strips that'll serve as batten pockets and now I've sewn in those pockets to the inside of the cover um, there's a series of four of them with about a two inch space in between and uh, that space will become apparent as to why I did that um, on this side I've already inserted the batten which is a half inch PVC pipe um, I just need to sew the aft part closed and also cut that a little bit shorter. I'll be replacing the twist lock fasteners with some um, stainless steel grommets and I have a old grommet kit uh, that I can use to install them. And I'll also uh, install a grommet between each of the pockets, uh, that'll be where a loop of webbing goes to secure the lazy jacks. Okay, and now I've attached a sail slug uh, with some half inch webbing looped around the, the grommets on both sides of the sail pack. Um, and since this is a loose footed sail, that's how I'm going to attach the, the sail pack to the boom. Um, I've left the ends free on the aft end. I just used, made a loop of uh, half inch webbing, kind of like an outhaul. And over there by the mast side, uh, that's also free. And I made uh, six loops to be attached to these grommets to thread through the batten. So now I've made a, 
a bit more progress. I installed the zipper here, right down the spine. I ended up not needing to install or sew in any more fabric, so this just sewed directly to where the seam was. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to redo the zipper because this one is defective. Um, it's got a, a missing tooth or a, the tooth broke. Also, I had left the tail long because normally you'll you'll put a grommet or a piece of webbing on here to tie a line to to keep the top uh, taut. But instead, I, I just added some loops on either side of webbing. Also, remove the webbing that was down here. Just have a piece of light line that will go around the shackle to keep the bottom tight. Um, I have the PVC battens in there. And you can see them here. You can see how the webbing loop comes through. The pipe goes through the webbing loop and then comes out of the grommet. I did make up some uh, straps with webbing and I'll, I'll demonstrate those in a bit. Those are going to hold the sail pack when it's rolled up. Here at the forward end, um, this is the same zipper that was installed. Um, I did install a little twist lock here, probably unnecessary, but uh, I had it and it looks good. Uh, the top is essentially the same. I, I added the, I re-added the collar. This is the same collar that was here. I just had to cut it. Probably could have left it. Also down there, I added the same collar. Um, and, and I really want this to be as high as possible because, well, number one, I keep my halyards coiled at the mast. So this will cover that, give it a little protection. And number two, I keep my whisker pole at the mast, which, uh, this will kind of go around and, and keep it from rattling a bit. Um, and one other feature that I added here on either side is this little grommet with a piece of light line that comes out. And the idea here is that uh, I unzip this from the mast and kind of roll it up and I'm able to tie it off with this. And that, that means I won't have to have two separate sections. This will all be one piece. And the final piece that I'm going to do here is I have a bit of a uh, sailcloth left over from another project. I'm going to see about sewing some of that in here where the mast goes for chafe protection. I have to do the area that goes by the mast. And that's pretty much it. The bag itself is done now for the lazy jacks. Starting with the cheek blocks, which I actually had on hand. So I placed them about three feet up from the spreaders, which are there. And all I did was really just drill a hole, uh, tap the thread, and then just use some Tef gel to uh, screw them in. And now I've strung up some Lazy Jacks using quarter-inch braided line, as well as some stainless steel rings. Um, and I was uh, going to do a splice here uh, onto the rings, but this line didn't splice very well, so I used a halyard itch on the rings as well as on the bag. Um, and it did leave uh, quite a bit of length of line uh, because this is going to need some adjusting when it's on the mast. As well as leaving the, taking the line and looping it around the spreaders when I'm docked to keep the uh, line from banging against the mast in the wind. And now for a test fit. So I've rigged up my lazy jacks to the top of the boat shed to simulate the mast. And uh, it seems to fit very well. Um, of course, the, originally the boom was inside the cover, so there's going to be extra space due to that. Um, and you might notice some of the stitching here. Um, the stitching on the zipper looks really good versus the one on the batten pocket, which does not look as good. Um, and that's because there was a bit of a learning curve with the sewing machine. So it looks low profile, which is what I wanted. Um, and I'll go over some of the features. So here at the the mast, or at least where the mast will be, I um, have the zipper going down the spine here. Um, and also a zipper going up the mast here. So I've undid both of those zippers. And now I'm going to kind of just roll this down. Here I was able to roll up the the throat here and just tie it off with that little piece of string. Next I've released the uh, lazy jacks on this one side 
uh, pulled them over, hooked them to the reefing hook, unzipped it and let the one side fall down and uh, put some sail ties on the sail, uh, only because it the cell would be up in this case, so uh, I need something to hold them. And now I've got the one side rolled up against the boom. Um, and the lazy jacks are all inside. So I would do this while sailing, while the main is up. Uh, and then just uh, unclip the straps and lift the lazy jacks to redeploy it. And it was at this point that I decided to cut off that front section and just make a separate boot. So this was kind of just something I made up as I went along. And now that I've cut that front section off, I'm past the point of no return. And now I've completed that. So I took out the zipper here, sewed this back together the way it was originally, added this section of material. Of course, I had to add an extra piece here because it wasn't long enough. Um, and then just fold it over the edges and uh, sewed those up. Here on the aft part, um, just added a little collar. And uh, I decided to do enclosures for the batten pockets. So these are modeled after the ones on my sail. And now the second test fit uh, looks good. Nice and low profile. Um, of course, when the front of the sail is all stacked up inside the mast, um, it'll fill this throat section a little better. Um, I did add a little grommet to the uh, foot of this uh, forward section, the boot, uh, and attached it with a piece of light line under the sail rather than under the boom. Uh, that way it makes it nice and uh, uh, tight around the sail. So I think that should work. Um, I was able to accomplish all of the things I wanted to do with this conversion. Um, it still looks like a traditional mainsail cover. Um, therefore, it should have about the same windage. Um, if it flops around a lot, I can roll it up at the boom. And uh, in doing so, it would also um, make up for any uh, effect in sail shape. So the expense for this was not very much. All I really needed to buy was um, a zipper, uh, some stainless steel rings, some nylon or rather polyester webbing, and uh, some stainless steel grommets. So um, I won't be launching my boat for a few months, but uh, after I do, I should have a long-term update. Um, if I don't like it, I can always go back to a regular mainsail cover, uh, relatively easy to make.